Good morning, SM. I'm Matthew Olniski. And I'm Annie Mulvihill. We have an exciting show planned for you today. But first, we have a few announcements. Come have some fun at the first annual Dancing with the Eagles, where dance team members pair up with other Eagles to perform and compete in various styles of dance. It all begins at 7 p.m. in the Dome on Wednesday, October 9th, and tickets are $10 at the door. College visits next week include Santa Clara, Colorado Boulder, University of Miami, OU, and many more. For more announcements, be sure to check your SM email. You know, it's finally Thursday, which means only one thing. Let's check out the latest installment of Throwback Thursday to find who SM's favorite singer was when they were younger. What's up Santa Margarita? My name is Natalie Mitchell and welcome back to Throwback Thursday on Eagle TV 2.0. Today we are asking you guys what your favorite singer or songwriter was growing up. Let's get started. I'm here with Claire, Jennifer, Kelly Gwynn II, Mr. Visconti, George Zhao, and Claire, what was your favorite music artist growing up? I was definitely a country girl, so Toby Keith and Brad Paisley were my two favorites when I was younger. And what was your favorite song of theirs? Ooh, that's a good question. But probably Brad Paisley then. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, probably Taylor Swift. Okay, and then who? What was your favorite song by Taylor Swift? Uh, twenty-two. Thank you. We don't have to go with the classic uh, One Direction. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, that would be uh, "Cute Without the E," "Taking Back Sunday." Thank you. Um, I would have to say Miley Cyrus. And what was your favorite song by Miley? Um, probably "The Climb." Thank you, George. And this was Throwback Thursday on Eagle TV 2.0. My name is Natalie Mitchell, and back to the host in the studio. Well, I don't know about you, but I was a big fan of Justin Bieber growing up. Baby was my jam in first grade. I mean, JB, it's like, yeah, it's all right, but Taylor Swift is my personal favorite. Mm -hmm. 22 is a bop, and you know that, all I'll, right? I'll agree to that. But Changing gears, last night was our SM College Fair, and so many amazing colleges and universities came out to represent. So let's take a look back at the festivities. I'm here with Remy Beecham. And what colleges are you looking at? Um, tonight I'm looking at DePaul, Loyola, Chicago, um, Oklahoma. Yeah, those are my, those are my big ones. What colleges are you looking at tonight? Tonight I'm looking at a lot of the Big Ten schools like Ohio State and University of Wisconsin at Madison. I mean, just wow, over 90 colleges. What a great experience for all our students to get all of that information. I know, I learned a lot about colleges that I want to go to, but don't forget, our boys varsity football team takes on our rivals, J. Sarah, away at an away game tomorrow at 7 p.m. at J. Sarah. George took us to the campus to get all the predictions for the big game. George, take it away. Guys, I'm George Zhao, and with the big upcoming football game this Friday, we went around campus asking you guys what the predictions for the score will be. Let's check it out. I'm here with Matthew Lenisky. So, what do you think the score of the J. Sarah game will be? I think it's going to be an easy dub for the Eagles 60-20. Thank you. I'm here with... Colin Moralia. So, what do you think the score of the J. Sarah game will be? Uh, the Eagles are going to win 21-0. Thank you. I'm here with... Natalie. So, what do you think the score of the J. Sarah game will be? Well, I think we're definitely going to beat J. Sarah, but I think it'll be pretty close, so probably 28-21. to Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm here with... Kelly Gwynn. So what do you think the score of the J. Sarah game will be? I personally, I think we're going to 35 to them. It's going to be pretty easy. Blow out of the park. Done. Over. That's a great prediction. So it looks like it's going to be an easy win for the Eagles. Make sure to support our boys at J. Sarah tomorrow. Back to the host of the studio. I mean, I said 60-20. Keep my, keep my word to that. Now, thank you, George. Good luck, boys. And Eagle Nation, we need to show our support and build a nest. I cannot wait to see you all there. Now moving on, we the big dog himself, here for another episode of Dear Ty. Tyler, take it away. What's up, big dogs? Yeah! Another episode of Dear Ty. Let's check what's in the mailbox. 
Dear Ty, what's your favorite football movie and why? Well, my favorite football movie is The Blind Side because, you know, people can overcome challenges and always achieve more. Also, this is a special edition of Dear Ty. It's a football edition. Next question. Dear Ty, how does coach Luke Del Rio get his hair to look so pretty in the morning? I don't know. I talked to him, and let's take a look at the video I took. I'm here with Coach Del Rio. Coach Del Rio, how do you get your hair to look so pretty in the morning? Well, Ty, I use a little bit of gel, and I comb it. That's it. That's it? That's it. Takes less than a minute. I'm here with Ian Grogan, a.k.a. Floyd. Grogan here. Give me a perspective on Coach Del Rio's hair. Uh, he definitely wakes up at like 2 or 3 in the morning and then uses about like 5 pounds of gel at least. So that's how he gets his hair to look so pretty in the morning? Definitely. For sure. Thank you. I definitely have to agree with Grogan. You know, that little comb? Nah. He puts like 8, 10 pounds of gel in his hair every morning for sure. Next question. Dear Ty, what is the Jay Sarah quarterback's name? Well, his birth name, not making fun of him, is General Booty. Last question. Dear Ty, what week is it? You know, it's Jay Sarah week, baby! Big Ty's gotta eat! All right! Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ty. You always have so much energy, and I personally would love one of those shirts. And we'd also like to wish a very happy birthday to Corey Bento and Catherine Ness. Nicholas Weekly and Mr. Cozine. And, well, that's all we have for you today. This has been Eagle TV 2.0. I'm Annie Mulvahill. And I'm Matthew Olniski. Have a stellar Tuesday, SM. We'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs>